Hi, my name's Jim Bruins. I'm with Hogue Knives. And welcome to the USN show here in wonderful Las Vegas. I've been asked to tell the public about our new X5. It's designed by Alan Alishowitz, built by Hogue Knives. We're in Henderson, Nevada. And the X5 is very unique. It has a brand new patented mechanism. Uh, basically, this is a button lock flipper. And we've never really been thrilled with button lock flippers in the past. Uh, button lock is a great mechanism, but due to the mechanics of how buttons work, the detent was never really uh, adequate for the closed retention position. So we've redesigned it, and we kind of took that, that need, that dual purpose of the button to uh, stow the blade in the, in the closed position. We've added a little springboard with a ball detent. So that really keeps the blade stowed the way we want it to, provides optimum retention for deployment. So as you notice, this, this blade deploys to a full open and lock position, and then it closes simply with the push of a button. So very unique, and, and th this is our uh, offering for a button lock flipper. It's available with a spear point, and did you grab the Warncliffe? And this is a Warncliffe design. This is a three and a half inch model. It's also available in a four inch model in a variety of colors and different texture patterns for the grip. Also has an ambidextrous pocket clip. That clip can be uh, fa fashioned in, in both a left hand carry and a right hand carry. Kind of a unique clip too. It's a deep pocket carry. This is currently situated for right hand carry. You'll notice that it pushes down in the pocket and actually stows in the back of the pocket so you still have good easy access. So that's our X5 button lock flipper. And uh, I understand that this is a patent pending, right? Yes. And this could be adapted for a liner lock as well. Well, you know, it's funny. Liner locks and frame locks have something called a locking bar. The locking bar also has a small ball D, typically has a small ball detent available in the locking bar. As a button lock flipper, there is no locking bar. So basically what we did was we created a small springboard that we attached to the inside of the frame that has a very similar element to a, to a locking bar. And that's how we um, are able to provide a perfectly tuned closed detent lockup. You could do this with a frame lock or a liner lock as well. Um, but well, I think that yes. there's a perceived need by a lot of people to have a more positive lockup in the closed position. Exactly. Exactly. That's really the design intent behind this mechanism. And that is patent pending, and it does extend to a frame lock and a liner lock as well. Because this feels a lot more secure, it has a little bit of a snap to it, but yet it's smooth and it easily opens, it doesn't uh, inhibit the way you open. I, I think this would be uh, perhaps a natural for a line a lot. Well, you're really hitting on exactly the design intent. Um, you notice when I release the button that the blade just kind of falls. So there's nothing riding on the blade to uh, provide that resistance to deployment or to, to closing the blade. So you're exactly right. And the way we did that was we actually put a track in the face of the blade so that when that ball detent is, is physically riding, it drops down into that track in the blade. At some point, the ball then re-engages the face of the blade and builds energy until it snaps down into a hole. And that's, that's the, the essence. If I had known that I was going to be describing this, I'd, I'd have taken one apart and been better prepared. But if you understand how that ball detent works, we've now basically taken the best design elements from a frame lock and incorporated it into a button lock. All right, terrific.